effectively addressing the barriers is a tall order. In that effort, we cannot expect complete change overnight. Change is often incremental. It comes in waves as people get inspired by an idea and they become the role models that inspire other people. Increasing waves of action correspond to increasing waves of awareness, as those that resonate with an idea reflect the idea back out to earn increasing amounts of mental bandwidth. Certain barriers do require a critical mass of action at the right time to overcome the inertia that is greater than incremental change. Yet, taking the bigger picture view, those sea changes are still often part of a larger movement that is moving more gradually. Green buildings leading toward living buildings that function like nature. Civil rights leading to human rights for all. The Arab Spring is an indicator of a gradual march toward global democracy. If the long arc of history bends toward social justice, it also bends toward environmental justice and ecological sanity. One of the most powerful articulations of how to drive change comes from Danella Meadows. Danella, or Dana as she was commonly known, was the author of The Limits to Growth, a professor, and the founder of the Sustainability Institute. As one of the leading system thinkers of the last third of the 20th century, in 1997 she penned Places to Intervene in a System, which offered 12 levels, or leverage points, at which change can happen. The lower the number, the more fundamental that leverage point is to the system. The lower the number, the greater the potential for real change. 12. Constants, parameters, and numbers. 11. The sizes of buffers and other stabilizing stocks. 10. The structure of material stocks and flows. 9. The lengths of delays. 8. The strength of negative feedback loops. 7. The gain around driving positive feedback loops. 6. The structure of information flows. 5. The rules of the system. Incentives, punishments, constraints. 4. The power to add, change, evolve, or self-organize system structure. 3. The goals of the system. 2. The mindset or paradigm out of which the system and its goals, structure, and rules arise. 1. The power to transcend paradigms. The system we seek to change could be virtually anything. A community, a nation, a business, a large institution, or an ecosystem management project. Leverage point number two is the core mindset behind the system, the intention with which the system is created. From that flows number three goals, or the goals of that mindset, number four, the system structure, and number five, rules by which the system operates. Leverage points six to eight refer to the feedback and information flow that is enabled by the structure and rules that come out of the goals and mindset. Nine through 12 detail what happens with that feedback and flow, delays in the system, which resources flow where, whether or not there's buffer in the system to help manage differences in flows, and what type of output we get. The renewable, non-toxic, ecological, and equity indicators that we have been striving to follow and enable throughout this work, those that we track to gauge global health are largely outcome numbers of the system at leverage points 10 through 12. However, our renewable, healthy, ecologically abundant, and equitable aspirations reflect number three goals. And critical to establishing such goals and rules is our mindset, number two. As we see, changing the end outcome numbers is much less important than changing the rules, goals, dynamics, and laws which bring those outcome numbers about.